Welcome back to another episode of Many Laughs. That's a chicken, Mr. Sparks. But what I'm doing is just trying to creep up so we can have a look at the high flies. I've just got them chilling. Um, and they're, you know, really enjoying it. A bit of rain at the moment, but um, look at them. Running around on the ground. Pecking, scratching at things. It's really good to see. They sort of just settling in and that is really good for them. Basically today I'm just come out here to give them food and water um, and I'm just going to scrape out their loft, just give it a little bit of a clean. I am looking at some breeding box options, you guys have put a lot of ideas in the comments um, and there is a couple of double up ones there that I, I definitely think are a good option, something's pretty easy and cheap. Because I feel like there's a few of them in here that want to breed so we'll go in and have a little bit of a look anyway. Just wanted to get a good look at them all just just in like you're just having fun mr. K you're looking pretty good they are really starting to put some condition on now which I'm I'm happy about so let's just quickly go in here and have a bit of a look and I'll have to come in here and give it a scrape out. But look how good Mr. K looks now. Compared to when he looked like when he first come in. But now he's had a bit of a molt. Oh, you want to come in here or you just had a bit of a fly? I think you want to come in here. But Mr. K is looking real good. He's definitely been you know, fattening up and the condition on him. He's ready to fly. Alright, alright. In you go, in you go. You want to come in too? Good. Come on, in you go. But they've been making a right old mess in here. So today I'm going to give this a real good scrape out. Top up their food and water and then um, the next thing we'll look at now that we've got perches in here is getting a couple of breeding boxes probably in here somewhere. Um, Maybe just sit them down in the sides here. We'll just get a couple. I don't think there's many pairs in here ready to breed. But um, I'm sure that if we put a nest box in here, that's going to encourage them to breed. Seems like there's quite a few cockbirds in here. But, um, oh well, doesn't matter. They're all going to be out flying at some point. We're just going to try and settle them in for a few more, you know, maybe another month and a half. Um, till I get this set up properly. And then hopefully if some... Want to breathe they can we can get them down on some eggs but i need to give this a little bit of a scrape out so i'll just do that and then we'll um come back and see how they're going Right, the cleaning is done. I think when I move out here, I'm going to have such a good vegetable garden because look how good that is there. So much like straw and feathers and poo and awesome compost on my vegetable garden. So that's another bonus of getting more pigeons. Um, it's not too bad. This flooring is a lot harder to clean than the flooring I've got at home. You can just see that it's you know all uneven and it's actually boards, not a full sheet board like i got at home so um it's another thing i might look at changing could even put in some of that yellow grating i've got here uh, back at home as flooring eventually we could you know there's a lot of things we can do to this loft um i definitely would like to turn it into a 100 percent pigeon loft and then you know build something even better for the, the chickens but birds are looking pretty good um 
just you know couldn't reach that corner over there I just need a little bit longer scraper but um, yeah pretty good looks like all the birds are using these perches as well what I'm going to do is get some food and water in there for them I've made the mix a little bit different than last time I think you guys are going to be much happier with this mix so what I'll do is we'll get the food and water sorted and we'll have a little bit of a chat about that Once this rain goes away, it's going to be pretty good. So you see, much better mix that I've got here. It's basically wheat. There's a, you know, a little bit of peas in there. Um, but I'll use it all fighting. But I've got safflower, the kalo, and the wheat predominantly. So, And then I've got some um, safflower and kalo in there that's covered in hemp seed oil it's got um, bio powder on it it's got pink mineral powder and there's also garlic oil on some of it as well so it's going to be good for these birds hopefully i want to come down and have a little bit of a feed i'm only leaving food in here just because like say for the example the other day when i got an electric shock at work um, i couldn't get out here and see them um, i was stuck at the hospital on the ECG machine um, and I couldn't get out here in time to check on them which you know these type of things in life happen don't worry I'm okay but we just need to make sure they've got extra food in there I know it's not ideal but in saying that um, in the future things are going to change especially when we move out here but we'll just let's see if they want to have a little bit of a nibble Come on. Come on. Come on. I know you like these seeds. Come on. Alright, so hope you enjoyed that little update. We just sort of sorted their food out, gave them a clean. Um, and then hopefully the next video of these guys you're going to see is us trying to get some breeding boxes sorted for them. Which will be down here. If you've got some ideas, drop them down below. What do you think, um, especially you experienced guys? what is a good um setup for these guys for breeding um you know given that this is what we're working with this space we don't you know we're not going to go spend the money on any lofts or anything at the moment we're saving all our money putting all our money into a house so that we can build our house here and live here as quickly as possible and then we can have as many high flyers and pigeons as we want so anyway drop your comments down below and i will see you guys in the next video